Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at momentum in space. What happens when spaceships are in space or satellites are in space and they want to change direction or they want to change velocity? Let's say, for example, we have a 1,000 kilogram spaceship and it's sitting still in space and you want to begin to move. The problem with space is that there's nothing to push against. There's no air, there's no ground, there's no way you can push against something to give yourself velocity. The only option you have is to throw something in the opposite direction to try and move forward. The only thing typically that you can throw fast enough is when you have a rocket engine to burn fuel and then to spew out the exhaust gases at very high velocities. The remnant of the burning of the fuel will simply cause that amount of material, the exhaust gases, to leave the spaceship in the opposite direction at high velocities such as 500 meters per second, which will then push the spaceship forward. So how fast will the spaceship be moving after 10 kilograms of fuel is burnt and spewed out the back of the engine at 500 meters per second in the negative direction? Well, we use the conservation of momentum. We can say that P initial is equal to P final. And let me use the letter I for initial like this. And so initially, well, the momentum is zero because nothing is moving, the spaceship is sitting there, so the initial momentum is equal to zero. Final momentum will consist of two objects. The spaceship minus the 10 kilograms of fuel moving to the right and the fuel moving to the left. So in this case, it will be the mass of the spaceship, which is 1,000 kilograms minus the 10 kilograms of fuel moving to the right at V final, and that's what we're trying to find. Moving to the left would be minus the mass of the fuel, or I should say, I'll just use plus the mass of the fuel because I'm adding the momentum of each individual piece, so that would be 10 kilograms, times the velocity of that fuel, which in this case, that's where the minus comes from, minus 500 meters per second. So you can see here, the initial momentum is zero, spaceship sitting there, the mass of the spaceship, including the fuel, sitting at zero, zero meters per second. Then we have the spaceship being pushed forward, which is the remainder of the spaceship, a thousand kilograms minus the mass of the fuel, times its final velocity, and the mass of the fuel moving in the negative direction at 500 meters per second. So let's go ahead and solve that problem. First, we'll move this over to the other side. So we end up with 5,000 kilogram meter per second is equal to 990 kilograms times V final. Now if we divide both sides by 990 kilograms, that comes over here, which gives us the equation in which we can solve V final. So we get 5,000 divided by 990 and the spaceship will move forward at well, that's not very fast, but at least something. V final will be equal to 5.05 meters per second. Well, hopefully Earth isn't too far away. Now, saying that, how can we get the spaceship to move faster? Well, there's two ways. You continue burning fuel, and as you burn more fuel, more fuel is being spewed out the back, giving the spaceship more and more velocity, more and more momentum. Of course, as you burn more fuel, the total mass will decrease, so the same amount of fuel spewed out the same velocity out the back will give the spaceship a greater impulse and therefore a larger change in velocity. Or you can get better rocket engines such that the fuel gets spewed out at much higher velocities to give the spaceship a greater velocity back home. So that's how we use momentum in space. It's the only way in which we can get spaceships to move into a different direction or change their velocity. Of course, there's one more way. We can use gravitational assist from planets nearby, but leaving that to another lecture, momentum is the key to changing the velocity of a spaceship.